Is the weed on the show real? Hey everyone, Stampa here with yet another Otamad YTPMV reaction video. Now today I'm going to be watching The Next Smoke, a Snoop Dogg collaboration. I know nothing about this collab. Almost absolutely zero. Other than, obviously I know the Snoop, right? We all know the D-O-double-G. We know smoke weed every day and many other chronic conditions. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and watch this collab as we always do and give a thorough review with a 7 minute and 12 second runtime. This is the next smoke, a Snoop Dogg collaboration. Three, two, one. Weed Lawid. I agree, Snoop. <laughs> it's hard to follow up Kill the Kill when you have the Weed Lawid. Greened out. I saw Pepsi, man. <laughs> Decent, solid. Chronic trigger.
Memes. I like this part. I like how these credits are done. I think this is really nicely done. This is probably one of my favorite. Just, just the the way it's being executed. I think it's 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 quite solid. I look at today as a day that we can celebrate at home, boys, because last but not least, I want to thank you. Alright. The next smoke. So it's time for the review. What did I think of the next smoke, a Snoop Dogg collaboration? It was alright. I uh, I wasn't blown away. I mean, my expression kind of tells it all. You can tell when a collab has hit me in like all the right places, you know. This one had a few really good moments. Um, but honestly, I wasn't really crazy about a lot of it. Um, I think that everybody who worked on it, I don't... Don't take my words as discouragement either because I think... At the very least, what you have is a really f good visual showcase of what you can potentially do, um, which especially if you want to be working in the motion graphics field, I think is a great thing. Um, I think that Snoop Dogg as a source in general has been a very more YTPMV than Otamad because of just the origin. It's Western, you know, and so there are different expectations and different, different, it's different. Like, historically, it's different, you know? It's not it's not going to be of the same material and the same... I don't know. It's just like the East versus West thing. I feel like... It's ironic. I'm talking about East versus West and a Snoop Dogg thing, but I'm not talking about the United... I'm talking about Japan versus America. Like, you know, I... I a lot of the times I'll, I'll compare it to like gachi right but i won't well we'll jump on to something i think that's more adjacent because it appeared so many times and that was of course old spice you know this is in the shadow of things like the power of terry which to me is one of the greatest things ever made um 
amazing, right? Those like that collab is just a banger. This collab is a lot more subdued. It's a lot kind of crazier. A lot of things that don't necessarily have a narrative element to them. And that's again, as those of you who know my style, what I like, I like it when it tells a story. So there were some parts in this that did tell a story and those were my favorite parts, of course. Um, like when you got, you know, on that train, like there was a story with the train, you know, and that's one of the reasons I like that part. Um, yeah, I mean, it just comes down to that for me, you know, a story to be told. And I think that it was a cool tribute to Snoop Dogg, but all, and the Pokemon one was, was good enough too. You know, it was all right. I wasn't, the Bebop was cool. I liked that as well. Um, I think one of those things that I'm seeing a lot of in collaborations, and I mentioned this before as well. There's a lot more of a presence of original 3D assets. And if we go back into the past, you know, why people would make original assets was because the ones like, for example, the Rurouni Kenshin stuff on, on Nico Nico, they had to make original assets because they were getting taken down for copyright. So I feel like at least in that regard, this is a good, you know, this is one of those ways that you kind of deal with that problem. But I, I do worry that we rely too much on original assets and not enough on source material at times. Because, I mean, on the on one hand, it's creative and it's it's like constructive. You know, you're making something new, which is great. But I'm not. I don't know, man. I'm just not like wowed. I, I wasn't blown away, and I'm not mad about that. I enjoyed it enough. I would share it with people, but it's not a collab that I see myself going back to watch again, like not regularly. You know, I, I, that's kind of the, the telltale sign of a collab that I really enjoyed or not, is how many times do I want to watch it again? And I'm I'm not really crazy about watching this one again. I think this is cool. I think it's worth making. I'm glad that you made it, and I think that you should keep making stuff. Don't ever let this kind of a review discourage you from anything other than pushing more toward what you want to make and making it. This is a matter of taste. This is not to my tastes. Snoop Dogg. And Snoop stuff in general is, but I think there's one other thing, and I mentioned this during the kill a kill part. You are you're standing in the shadow of giants when you work on things like this. Mountendu. Whether it's Old Spice, whether it's Snoop Dogg, whatever it is, the the legend, right behind that channel, and and all the stuff created. You know, of so you can't have something in a collab that won't exceed the thing that it's parodying, a parody of. You know, Kill the Kill, you know, Weed La Weed is like one of the most well made, well known Snoop Dogg collab or Snoop Dogg creations, right? Snoop Dogg, you know, YTPMV Otomat things. It's one of the most well-known parodies, and it's one of the most well-made parodies, right? And so when you're going to do that as well in your collab, the standards are going to be extremely high. Because on one hand, we all recognize you're being referential. On the other hand, if you're being referential but you're not exceeding it, that's kind of the, the expectation when you're looking at a collaboration like this. And I mean, I know that probably isn't entirely fair if... I'm holding it to the same standards that I would hold something like a McDonald's anniversary or, or, you know, the power of Terry or even, even the kitchen gun collab. I mean, the idea is to take something that you've already got already made in the wild and improve on it for the collaboration's sake, make it better. So when it's not better than the other thing that came first, it's referential, but it's, it's lesser in the sense that you will get a stronger punch watching Weed La Weed than the Kill La Kill section of this. And that's not saying it's bad. I'm just saying if you're going to stand up and show off your art, don't do it in a way that can be directly compared to something else that's so similar. Because when you do that, it becomes harder to stand on its own. Because now it's not only going to meet its own standard of quality, but also exceed the standard of quality set by the thing that came before. Seems my, my camera is going crazy at the moment. My apologies. But anyway, that's basically it. I mean, at the end of the day, 
you know, you, you gotta, if you're going to put something in a collab, it has to be better than the thing it's parodying or referencing. Otherwise, I don't think you should do it. I think it's too ambitious. I think it, I think it will end up being compared like this. And that's the consequence, you know? And I think also we need to talk about song selection again, as I always talk about in the collab reviews. And I think I'll, I'll kind of wrap up on this. I mean, look, how many times can we hear the same songs, you know? I, I just think of, like, the Chrono Trigger part. Gachi Muchi role-playing game had a very similar one with a lot of the similar jokes and motifs as well, in a way. Um, you know, who was going to be Lavos or whatever? That's always the question, that kind of thing. So, you know, with that said, I immediately I said Chronic Trigger. One of my favorite ones is 420 AD, Wind Scene. And, like, I would rather hear that because we don't see that much in collabs. So... Yeah, I mean, just don't pick the same songs that have been done in other collabs, especially if you have the same participants. That's really a problem. Like, if none of the people on this project were on that, then cool. But I feel like we're we're such a small community, in a sense, that we already know what... We've already seen it, you know? We don't need to see it again. Give me another song from Chrono Trigger. You have a whole menagerie of tracks to pick from. Why pick the same one? That's pretty much it. I'm glad to say I'm not tearing into this. I'm critically reviewing it because this isn't bad at all. I don't want you to think it's bad. I enjoyed it. I just wasn't blown away by it. And I, I, I hope that you'll push to new heights. I think the credits were very creative and I like the credits, how they were executed. Um, definitely a highlight of the entire thing. So you have my, my appreciation, respect. In general, you have my respect in general for making this. Look, this isn't easy to do. And so with that in mind, you know... I, I reckon I'm know that you're already above the average person in what you're doing. I'm holding you up against Goliaths so that you might be compared against those who you can strive to surpass. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the collaboration yourself if you have not before. Until next time, this is Stampy with another Otsumad YTPMV collaboration reaction. Be sure to check out some of the other ones here on the channel. And of course, support the creators of the video you just watched. They need the love. Aside from that, you can of course catch me on my places. You know where I'm at. Stamp high. Anyway, thanks for watching. And remember, smoke weed every day. Unless you're not into that. I, I don't do drugs, but I mean, listen. If it's not illegal, and it's not hurting you, I, I, I'm understanding is what I'm saying here. I'm understanding. Okay? But I also think, choose life. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Why did I make it a drug PSA at the end and, at the ending here? And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> Talk to you later, everybody. Thanks for watching.